So, this is what happened with Brexit. We just have to, Nigel Farage, is that, is that the right? Uh, who knows? Who knows the right way to say it? Who but knows? Man, a little bit of a weird looking dude. Uh, he finally, after, after the, the referendum, after the vote, he stood before the European Union and he just, uh, this has gone viral. He explained in his words as to why the Brexit happened. And he sat down, he educated them, he tried to enlighten them, but he also made it sting just a little bit. So we want to show you some highlights from these clips of Nigel Farage. Let's roll clip one. Isn't it funny? You know, when I came here 17 years ago and I said that I wanted to lead a campaign to get Britain to leave the European Union, you all laughed at me. Well, I have to say, you're not laughing now, are you? Oh! Tried to run game on a nigga. Who's but where with the trigger? Show oh, Nigel! Tried to run game on a nigga. Who's but saw fuck ass up? Yo, hut one, hut two, hut three, hut. Oh, dirty bastard, live and uncut. Oh, boom. Love that. I don't care what you say about him, but that man is a P I M P. Yes. Nobody's laughing now. Spelling that out in my head. If you expect this segment to get better, don't. <laughs> like I said, we're going to have people who are far more authoritative on the Brexit, just kind of like the UK with the American election. It's entertainment. Sorry, it's been a it's been an intense few weeks. This is the last week of cultural appropriation mm -hmm. month. Brexit, good on you guys. You got some independence. Cheers. We are going to be entertained this evening, sons. We have some other clips, don't we? We have some more clips. We buddy. have some more clips where he sat down and he talked to them about. Uh, I mean, he just read them the riot act. So let, let's well let's let's get to some of the substance of of his his comments. Roll the next clip. Thank you. But what I would like to see is a grown up and sensible attitude to how we negotiate a different relationship. Now, now I know, I know that virtually none of you have ever done a proper job in your lives. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Game on a nigga. Who's but where with the trigger? Shame on a nigga. Who tried to run game on a nigga? Who's but saw fuck ass up? Yo, hut one, hut two, hut three, hut. Oh, dirty bastard, live and uncut. Yeah, Hopper. That was Hopper getting into it. He was. That was Hopper getting into it. Hopper, it's okay. Hopper loves freedom. It's Hopper loves freedom. He loves freedom. Oh, my gosh. If you have not seen this speech, Whew. Nigel. Given the smackdown to the European Union, the globalists, the internationalists, the multiculturalists, mm -hmm. it is well worth watching. We have it up at louderwithcrowder.com. But we want to get to the substance of the issue here. We want to get to the substance of what he actually had to say. So we do have one final clip uh, regarding his comments on trade, which I think are important for people to know. Roll that clip, not good, Jared. If you were to decide to cut off your noses, to spite your faces, and to reject any idea of a sensible trade deal, the consequences would be far worse for you than it would be for us. Oh! Game on a nigga. Who's but where with the trigger? Shame on a nigga. Who tried to run game on a nigga? Who's but saw fuck ass up? Yo, hot one, hot two, hot three, hot. Oh, the best alive and uncut. That's all I need the beard for. That's gone. That beard is gone. Sorry. We're gonna have our job with terrestrial radio to get oh, that goodness. edited. So if you wanted to know how we felt here at Louder with Crowder about the Brexit, I hope we've crystallized our thoughts for you. <laughs> if you like this video, you might be a little disturbed, but this is taken from the full weekly free podcast video cast. You can click to see the full show down there or my face to go to louderwithcrowder.com. There are more articles than you see here on YouTube or below me for another video. If you don't click any of them, that's fine, but expect anthrax in your mailbox.